Welcome to this quick introduction video on setup of Facebook advertising. We're going to watch a live demo too, so this will be exciting. We're going to look at ad types, we're going to look at targeting, we're going to look at bidding. I'm just doing a quick overview for you here now before we dive into the video. So in this sort of first stage here, the setup area, uh, we just want to go straight to facebook.com forward slash ads. You can get to it through the interface, but I typically like to go right there. Uh, next, go ahead and click the green button. It looks like just what you see there, create an ad. And when you do that, you're going to be presented with a new screen and it looks uh, something like this. Uh, on the left side, you can see a screenshot of it. I wrote it down here on the, on the right. Um, we want to work with page post engagement and I'm going to get back to this here in a second. Uh, and by the way, there's other options here. There's even an other option where you can see more. Uh, we're not going to get into that uh, now, but page post engagement is absolutely fantastic. So. You'll see this in the demo, but let me just tell you, you have to do a little bit of preparation here to get these particular uh, content pieces set up. So what you do is you go back to your Facebook fan page, your, you know, essentially your business work area on Facebook, and you want to create a page. You know, this is uh, really a page post. It's nothing more than simply a post inside your page there. And you can see an example here of one that I had done, uh, live session today, how to explode your website profits with every new visitor, etc. Uh, you want a benefit-driven statement plus a call to action and a URL. And you can set up tracking URLs and all kinds of weird stuff here. It's really cool, a lot of opportunities, but really just get them straight to your web page, right? A specific page that matches that particular uh, message. Uh, secondly, you want to use a video or an image, as you can see there, plastered my face all over the place. Um, and finally, what this does for you, and I'll share details here in a second as we move into the live area, but folks can engage here in the news feed, which is sort of the main river of news that you see in Facebook. And it's in the middle of the screen, not to the right. So not the ads on the right. We want this to be shown in the middle where people engage directly. They can like it, they can comment, they can even share it. And we encourage, of course, your friends and uh, neighbors and everybody else to share it uh, as long it, uh, as uh, it matches their sort of interest level as well. So we're gonna come back to this here. We're gonna flip over to the live video here. And let's go to it. Um, here we are. So once I click that add button, the green button, I was selected with a number of options. If you recall, I'm selecting page post uh, engagement. And because I prepared already for this, I actually am able to just select it from my web page, uh, from my Facebook page right here. It just auto selects. You just pull down the menu and select the one you want. Uh, then once you have that, uh, you simply go ahead and click continue. Now you can see actually what it ends up looking like in the stream. As I said here, we have the news feed and we have the right hand side. We want to just remove that side of the piece of the puzzle and uh, leave it as such. Okay. Now, here comes the interesting part. As I mentioned, targeting, right? And there's a lot of options here, but let's for a moment say that we want to get to a local community here in Los Angeles. Well, we go to Redondo Beach. We want to select a particular target audience here. And let's say that we're going for women in the 25 to 34 um, gender women. And we want to specify women who are specifically interested in tennis. Why? Well, they probably have a disposable income. Uh, they have opportunities here to bring their little kids or whatever it is to uh, their local gyms, their, their local piano lessons, their, uh, their local events, uh, anything that you're trying to promote here, uh, you can do. And I'm selecting women because as we know, they are the bosses of the household typically. So here we go. Lots of opportunities I said here. We can work on relationship status and you know, we can really drill down. This is just what we call hyper targeting. Look at this already 40,000 people who live in Redondo Beach within the 25 mile, mile radius, uh, 25 to 34, who are female who like tennis. Um, here's, by the way, where you have to do what we call testing in marketing, right? Uh, while this is a good assumption, possibly, for this particular scenario, you cannot be guaranteed that this is going to work all the time. You have to simply start by doing some research and research is its own section, its own video. But just make sure that you understand and know 
your type of client first. You have to really dig in and really understand the avatar, essentially. It's like basically this, who is your perfect customer? And once you have this, you can start to work on this, right? Now, uh, I'm, I'm using a local test here. Uh, that's fine. Uh, we can even get into education and things like that. We can even focus uh, on workplaces. So if you know that there's a particular company in your region um, that caters to this specific thing that you're trying to push, well, then you can actually do that here. You can drill down even to more uh, categories. But really, we're going kind of fast here right now because, as I said, it's a short video. Uh, here you want to name basically what the... Uh, uh, ad is all about and uh, what kind of selection in age range uh, you can drill this down to regions uh, you can kind of get very descriptive here and you may want to select a small budget to start so maybe 10 15 dollars and um, you can even specify start and end dates here i typically just uh, let this run because i watch it like a dog anyway uh, bid for clicks and we want to basically tell the system that we want to bid you can you can see up here it gives you a selected range by the way, here's the magic. I always go a little bit over on this, and you may be thinking right now, wow, I don't want to pay 75 cents for each visitor. Well, actually, if you have a very engaged um, uh, ad and positioning statement, uh, Facebook will actually show this based on, uh, obviously, your bid here, but engagement with the ad. So when people are clicking, and we call this click-through, you will see that you'll probably pay no more than anywhere from 10 cents to maybe, you know, let me just say 35 cents as an example. So you want to actually tell the system that you're aggressively going into this. Uh, you want to bid this out and you want to test it. And basically, once you have done this and set this up, you can review the order. I typically do this. Uh, you can essentially change the ad name here. Uh, look, kind of think about who the targeted audience uh, is and what they should be uh, presented with. Uh, here we see 75 cents a click. Again, you're not going to pay that. Uh, it's going to be much, much lower, probably three times lower than this. And then you just place the order. Now, I'm not going to place the order here, but if I wanted to, I could go back and edit this. So once this uh, gets pushed out there, uh, depending on the history of your uh, account, uh, depending on if you're brand new and if you have hi existing history, uh, I've seen ads go live within minutes uh, from placing an order uh, to several hours to the very next day. So kind of a range here, but basically very quickly, I just wanted to share this short video with you and also just make sure that you understand that the setting up of, ad, uh, of uh, ads for Facebook is very simple. Uh, the selection of ad types is important, uh, the page, uh, page post engagement as I mentioned, uh, the targeting, very very key and the hyper targeting uh, features of Facebook is insane. So you have a lot of opportunity here and of course you want to make sure that you bid and um, get uh, positioned by not bidding too low. So anyway, this has been a short Facebook advertising video for you and once again, uh, this is Jan Rognerud. If you would like to take a look uh, further, visit johnrognerud.com as you see it right there. Jan, over a night. Thank you.